In this video, we're going to practice doing some multiplication and division calculations with measured values and reporting our answer to the correct number of significant figures. So recall the rule for multiplication and division is the value with the least number of significant figures will limit our answer. So I might put this here, limit answer by the value with the least number of significant figures. So that's really the rule. So just like sign rules for multiplication and division, we know the sign of our answer, whether it's positive or negative, before we actually do the calculation. This is very similar. We can know the number of significant figures that our answer is going to have before we do the calculation. So if we look at this value, that has four significant figures. Those zeros are significant because of the decimal. This value has three significant figures, and this value only has two. So we always cross out all of the leading zeros and a zero at the end of a number is only significant because of the decimal. So this has two significant figures, so our answer is going to be limited to two significant figures. So if we plug those values in the calculator, 0 0.009 times 175 times 3.3, if we do that calculation, we'll get 5.1975. And then if we're going to limit our answer to two significant figures, those are the two placeholders that we need. So we would round this answer correctly to 5.2. And that's because this 9 being greater than 5 will cause that value to be rounded up. So our answer can only have two significant figures because our value that limited us in the calculation only had two significant figures. This next example, a lot of times it's very easy if there's no zeros. It's not difficult to determine the significant figures. So this value has four. If we divide this by 0 .005, that is only one significant figure. So all of the leading zeros are always crossed out as not significant. So if we take 159.7 and divide that by 0 .005, we'll get 31940. And I'm not using any units here. So in this case, we're only allowed one significant figure. So we can change all of these placeholders to zeros and call that 30,000. That would be a correct way of reporting that number. As long as we do not put a decimal at the end of the number, this only has one significant figure. Or again, a way to always do that correctly is to put the number in scientific notation. So if we move this decimal one, two, three, four places to the left, we'd have three times 10 to the fourth power. So either one of those would be acceptable answers. This next example, this zero is significant because of the decimal. So that has four significant figures. Those zeros do not count. So the, this value only has two significant figures. So if we do this calculation, 211 divided by 0 0.021, I'll get this very long number here. It's 1905 and it perhaps still keeps going. So in order to round our answer to two significant figures, this is the special case of where the only possible way to report the answer correctly would be to put the number in scientific notation. So if we put that zero there, 
1.0, that constitutes our two significant figures, and this would be times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, to the fourth power. So every once in a while, we'll run into a case where we have to put the answer in scientific notation. If we just round this to 10,000, then that's only one significant figure, so that would not be correct. And we can't really round it up to 11,000 either to get two significant figures because 10,047 does not round up to 11,000. And we don't want to round it down to 9,900 either. So if you find yourself in a situation where you're struggling on how to report the answer correctly, it may be that scientific notation is the only way for that to be reported correctly. And then in this case, if we take 27 and divide it by 3, if we do that on the calculator, we're only going to get 9, 27.00 divided by 3.00. So if we put that in the calculator, we're only going to see one significant figure here. So if we look at these values, the top number has four significant figures, our denominator only has three significant figures, so our answer needs three significant figures. So sometimes we have to actually add decimals with zeros in order to get the answer correct. So that would be the correct way of reporting an answer to three significant figures. Most of the time the values, uh, we don't run into these special circumstances. Most of the time it's a matter of just taking our value and rounding it properly. And doing so we just look back at the factors that we're multiplying or dividing and determine the least number of significant figures and then round our answer to that same number of significant figures.